did y'all see this Harry and Meghan thing last night? Of course. I did. Yeah. What's, who's Harry and Meghan? The royals. The ginger oh. royal. No. So they okay. they supposedly got in a two hour long quote near catastrophic car chase in Manhattan, and apparently like it just didn't happen. I think they just never really rode in New York City traffic before. A two hour long car chase. What did that get them from Times Square to the Lincoln Tunnel? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it uh, it seems like it's it's probably cap. They they were in a car chase. It was that's in, what was by paparazzi. alleged, but it seems like it probably didn't happen. The NYPD says they have no record of that happening. They were in a car chase. NYC taxi drivers just drive like that regularly. <laughs> it, I don't think we'll ever see go. like a media frenzy like that around celebrities anymore. Like it's there's too much content. People are have so much access to the things that they enjoy. There's just nobody cares like that anymore. There's so many more now, celebrities. Now, were there some were there some media members that were like taking pictures of them? Probably. Did that piss them off? Also, yes, probably. But then I, I read about that this morning, and I think they leaked the details to TMZ, right? Like Harry and Meghan leaked those details. It seems that way, yeah. Here's now, a uh, maybe I'm maybe I'm missing something though, Big T. If if you wanted to get paparazzi to stop chasing you everywhere would you then leak, <coughs> excuse me leak stories to tmz i don't think that was th the goal i think they're just attention oh, horse oh wait wait so in an interview no, that's what i'm saying i think they love it taxi so th yeah. this taxi driver made a statement in your this is the washington post taxi drivers oh man this suck charn singh said he picked up harry megan an older black woman and one security guard around 11 p.m. on Tuesday outside the New York City Police Department's 19th precinct. He said he drove them for a brief period during which it, I don't think I would call it a chase. I never felt like I was in danger. It wasn't like a car chase in a movie. They were quiet and seemed scared, but it's New York. It's safe. Yeah, so here's what it seems like happened. This says Harry and Meghan left the Ziegfeld ballroom with private security with them around 10 p.m., Police say the couple wanted to go back to where they were staying on the Upper East Side. Harry and Meghan didn't want paparazzi to know where they were going, so they drove around for an hour and 15 minutes uh, with one NYPD vehicle escorting their vehicle. So so they were just, like, circling because they didn't want people to know where they were. Then they went. The Sussexes were driven to the 19th Precinct and stayed there for about 15 minutes while police helped get the, the pair get off the block, and they got into a different car. So they were just like trying to make sure that people didn't know where they were staying. And then they said it was a near They're, catastrophic car chase. Uh, they, they need to have body doubles. They need to get Carson Wentz in a tuxedo and then put him <laughs> into like a duplicate SUV and then make the paparazzi figure out who's who. In their defense, the, the taxi driver did say they were pursued by two vehicles, a black Honda Accord and a gray Honda CRV. They kept following us and were coming next to the car. They took pictures as we stopped and were filming us. So the guy, the guy driving didn't feel like the paparazzi were interfering with his ability to drive, but he, they were being followed. But it doesn't sound being followed by paparazzi. like a yeah. catastrophic car chase. I, th I think near honestly, catastrophic. I, I mean, in Harry's defense, you could say anything's yeah. near like, catastrophic. Harry's mother did it's die true. in a similar, like a similar well, potential situation, exactly with paparazzi. So he's definitely more sensitive to it. So I'd give him a Is break. Here. Harry's Princess Diana's yes. Son? yes, 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 and William. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's. Yeah, I would probably crazy. also hate photographers if I was him. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The whole obsession is just, I know we've talked about it multiple times, but I just don't want to stand shit why anybody gives a fuck. Do they, do they, do those reporters get paid to follow them around? For pictures. Maybe that's, if yeah, get for yeah if picture. you get pictures, they sell them. Okay. Whoever well, gets that's... the best picture. It is just weird to complain about paparazzis to TMZ. It'd be like, like if you complain about like vigilante justice on the subway and you called Phoenix Jones, <laughs> you're like, hey man. You'll never believe what just happened to me. This needs to stop. They're definitely trying to get sympathy, but I feel like if they wanted to, like, I think they have enough money between the both of them to just go live somewhere totally secluded in a self-sufficient, like... Do they get funded by the state or, like, do they have jobs? Or how does... I think they kind of don't have much money now because they're... They, they left... 
She has so, she has her own money. Th- they definitely have enough money uh, to buy how much? A, to live. PFT's richer degree. than her. She's like a D list actress. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably, honestly. They they Wait, so that's why what's her, what's what her network? You said they left. Who left? Harry and Meghan like quit the royal family basically. Well, Harry did, I think, <laughs> and Harry, moved to Canada quit? slash America. So uh, hold on now, how you quit a family? I'm interested. They, in this, so technically, I might want to they, pursue the. They same. quit the they quit the royal part. The apparatus, which uh, includes their family. The apparatus. They renounce their throne. Yes. Mm-hmm. Well, the apparatus much, around yeah. the royal family is they have like kind of handlers and people who find who finance their actions and basically uh yeah, boosters kind of yeah <laughs> they have boosters and basically uh they do several events for the government that in turn end up like you know they like open hospitals they do all like the ceremonial stuff and for those events they get end up like a certain amount of stipend besides like they're basically trust funds they're getting from not their... by the state but by these so the state pay, private... pays them for doing their duties their royal duties which is technically their job and they end up like getting competitive with each other because there's a lot of low class royals not low class like lower ranking on the totem pole yeah so like they're like prince andrew is like ranked lower than prince charles the king because he's the second brother and like he's okay. opening a hospital in north england which isn't as prestigious as a hospital if he was like opening one in london and basically that's how they that's their job per se like doing ceremony but harry basically quit so, that and said i don't want to do any ceremonies i don't want any royal duties i don't want in, in turn he gets no money from the royal family and, and they moved to new york and none of the perks no they moved to i think California. they live in canada but yeah partly canada partly s- several places in america but that's why they're doing every interview and book that they can because they're poor it says her net worth yeah, well, is sixty million. So that's oh like my what, ass! So it's like what a third of PFT. No chance. <laughs> no. Why are you so com- why are you so convinced that they don't have any money? I'm, I'm they com- definitely well, have money because they. I'm sure they have some, well, but they of, they do every. Well, she she was a dog shit actress before she hitched her wagon to him. They uh-huh. do every interview opportunity they can. He wrote his book where he trashed his whole family. There's also a clip where. They're talking to, I believe it's Bob Iger, the CEO of Disney, and Harry's talking to him, and he's like, you know, Megan, she she does voices and voiceover stuff. Like, if y'all are ever looking for someone in an animated movie, like she can do it. That they, they for sure good husband. That's a that's that's a good husband right there. That's a supportive husband. Now I don't I don't know the sides, right? But if I was to guess, like monarchists, people who want the monarchy to continue, would take your view, Big T about trashing harry and megan is it harry and megan mm-hmm. yeah is that is that am i correct in that asse- assessment i mean i guess yeah because yes, they left so. the royal family but i think but, they left the royal. why are you so hard on them i, don't understand. I think they, they did what you probably would want is to try to break that shit up oh my god the f- i don't care about I, it one way or another i just think they seem kind of like losers and they want attention at every <laughs> single turn that that's the thing if right. i had that so you, much money you kicked out the royal family big t hold on, hold on okay you picked I, out, I think it kicked out the royal family they left and they were not gotta, kicked out okay you leave the royal family again you supposedly because the the attention is so overwhelming and they they can't take it anymore no and megan was treated racist people were racist towards megan and the family that's probably probably some truth to that and so but now now what do you do for for, for money though big z you can't i don't you know can't go to work a regular job you you go on book tours you go on like sure and there's nothing wrong with, with them, that bro. that's that's great like, for them but like they banging on them because they're just they're losers if you had as there, there <laughs> well, is a yeah, way like like this they, like they drive i, I want to get down to this because like <laughs> they are anti-monarchist just like you're an anti-monarchist and like you don't fuck with them, I'm like I, I, the, like because the... they drive home in a car and say they were in a near catastrophic car chase, and they you know that's a little more understandable. I think what you could be angry at them about is that they want to be left alone, and there are plenty of ways with an, as much money that they have to be left alone. Like for example, yeah, you could just stop. You yeah, could just go away. I could if I like. <laughs> it's, it's a very simple solution they, to their supposed go, problem. Go buy a ranch in california that has access to all the amenities that you like like living you know restaurants whatever have it you know really secluded from everybody you know you don't have to work 
just leave everybody alone, like work on a farm, just raise your kids, like have them away from the spotlight, live a quiet life. Like, you know how many like, you know, American royalty, former athletes, former celebrities have lived quiet lives after being superstars and have been able to stay out of the spotlight a lot. I think what Big T gets upset about is that they're they they beg for sympathy. They yes. essentially they're they're born into extreme privilege and now they want people to feel bad for them because their privilege is making their lives hard. Precisely. And we're probably not helping the situation by well, no, they brought it up, so like people talk about them because of that. Have, I wouldn't have heard about it if y'all if y'all heard yeah. it. All of their behavior is antithetical to their supposed goals yeah i mean if okay i got you let's let's talk about how i was, I was, genu I was, I was genuinely <laughs> okay serious. so the oh. royal family may have came from the middle of the earth from a, a race of mole people wait 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 before you do that <laughs> okay, i have no no <laughs> billy's, uh, billy's cooking before so the whole the royal wrong. blood thing might be because they might be descended from a race of people living in the middle of the earth <laughs> Okay. okay. Go on. No, I'm Go. joking. Actually, do you want to call it that, that? Like, there's actually is people. This the do, is this the reptilian? Yep, race? they is might this be the reptilians, reptilians that live in the okay. center of the earth. <laughs>